I have reviewed over 200 scratch games on this channel and in this video I'm going to go through the most common mistakes that you guys make and if possible tell you exactly how to fix them so let's get started the first mistake is a motionless screen before saying anything I would like you to look at these two games and tell me which one looks better The answer is obviously this one because something is happening on the screen. The cookies glowing, there is a clicking effect, we have some cookies falling in the background, we have music and a lot more. Whereas in this one, nothing is really happening. And if you just move your mouse away, it will look like an image. Yet this is exactly how most games look. To fix this, you can watch this special playlist in the card above. I have put tutorials that can teach you how to make better buttons, better games, and even review episodes that contain really good games. So check it out. The second mistake is the difficulty system. When you play a game for the first time, you obviously have no idea about how the game works and you expect the game to teach you that. Once you are done with the tutorial, the game starts off easy and the difficulty rises as the playtime increases. But most scratch games don't have anything like that. They just start off on a difficulty and it never changes. The player struggles in the beginning and if by chance he doesn't give up, he becomes so good that the game becomes boring. This is something that really annoys me. Adding a difficulty system is even that difficult you can literally just measure play time and adjust the game according to that or if you are a beginner you can ask the player to choose a difficulty level or just have a level system like level 1 level 2 level 3 doing any of this can immensely increase the play time of your game the third mistake is having 100 features but zero quality that is a weird name but you get the point basically if you have 100 features in your game but only a few of them actually work properly then the game will just feel like a mess what you should do instead is add a feature and don't add a new one until you make this one properly that will result in your game having good features that are actually useful and properly implemented and that's it for this video if you want more videos like this tell me in the comments down below so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video